last little bit of audio that I want to take a look at is when I play my audio, there's an additional sound, like a wave sound, um, waves crashing in the background. And it's not in this happy video, this happy audio file that we just imported in the last tutorial. So I'm going to kind of close this up a little bit. It has to do with the audio file in this in this video at the top. So I'm going to increase this a little bit to see this a little bit more. Um, and then, so this is on the video one track. And so the audio that matches this video is on the audio one track. So if I, I'm going to switch, switch my tool to a selection tool. This tool, this video right here has some extra audio in it that I don't want or I want to minimize and get rid of somehow. So there is an audio bar on this video and I can drag that down to the bottom or I can edit it as well. So if I do need a talking point in the middle of it, I can use my editing tool to, I need to bring it up here and then, okay, I can bring it down. I can edit this volume as well, just like I edited it in the last one with these little bubbles that are here that can fade it in and fade it out. So I can I can whittle out content that I don't need to. So let's listen to this now. I shouldn't have that wave sound in the background anymore. Got rid of it completely. I just have the happy music. So if there's conflicting audio, you just want to convey your message. Whatever your message needs to be, that's what you need to convey. So you need to be sure that people that are talking can be heard. And what is being said needs to be said. So if I need to bring my volume down for my background, I might need to do that. Um, or if I need to get rid of audio completely in a video, I can do that. There's one more way I'm going to show you here too for this video. You can completely get rid of audio from this video. So if I click on this video at the top, I can right now. So since these are both selected, the video and the audio that's related are selected. I can right click and there's an unlink button. So I'm going to click on the unlink button. I'll select the track I want. The audio is now unlinked from the video. And now I can click on that audio track and delete it. So that's another way to get rid of the audio um, as well. So you can control the audio bar here or you can unlink it from the video and then delete the audio that relates to it.